just like people buy from people, people hire people they know. Like it's a very, like nepotism is, is a real thing, right? Like uh, the stats around employee referrals are, are real. You, you're not gonna get your dream job by easy applying on LinkedIn, right? So I look at it like um, when, I, when I joined these, many of these startups as the first sales hire, the right answer is oftentimes one thing, the wrong answer is many. And it's easier sometimes to say, well, what will I not spend my time doing? What is a waste of time? And let me avoid those things that will get me closer to the right answer because odds are I can't guess the right answer out the gate. So if we're looking from that perspective where there's more to do than time to do it and more questions than answers, the right way to do it is, is by saying to yourself, easy applying on LinkedIn, the fact that it's so easy for me means it's every, easy for every other candidate, which means I'm probably not going to get this job because that's way too much noise. Um, you know, trying to cold apply on ZipRecruiter to a thousand jobs at once because I click the check all and then send my resume is probably not going to give me a job because everybody else that went on ZipRecruiter today did the same thing, right? Um, I know that uh, referrals are the preferred way that companies hire and uh, the stats are extremely obvious on that. So how do I become a referral? And then I need to reach out to my network first and foremost, because they should be able to refer me. And if they can't, then I need to create a reference for myself, which is like the task of reaching out to an entry level employee or a former employee of a company that you care for and trying to create a, a reference from that individual. And that's probably your highest likelihood. It's time consuming. It will not work for significant portion of the time, but if you do it for a long enough sustained effort, you will eventually get that. 